there, I'm Katie Kimball from KitchenStewardship.com and today I'm going to show you how to make dehydrated fruit rolls, also known as fruit leather. We're here at the beginning of summer, come on this way, man. Um, with my son Paul, my little helper here, and we've got some strawberries. What I did is as I washed our nice, fresh, delicious Michigan strawberries for freezing and for other purposes, um, I would pull out the ones that were either kind of small or kind of had a mushy spot in them, um, nothing that was moldy but things that maybe weren't the most ideal fruit and I just kept throwing them in my blender and uh, stored them in the fridge. So that's one of the great things about making fruit leather or fruit rolls is that you can kind of recapture some of the fruit that's maybe bruised or a little, um, again, less than ideal. I do, I actually keep the green tops on for strawberries. There's nothing wrong with eating them and it's so much simpler. So in this blender container are just washed, unhulled strawberries. Um, fresh from the field and we're not going to add anything to it we're just going to blend them up to a pulp so push that in the sometimes you need to jam them down your only goal here is to get these strawberries to become liquid um, some families may need to add a little sweetener a little honey or something But we have found that absolutely we, we don't add anything at all to strawberries. We just blend them up, pour them out, dehydrate them, and then they last the entire year long. Push it, please. Okay, so now as you can see, the blender was about that full of strawberries. It's now down to here because it's completely liquid. And I have a piece of parchment paper on my dehydrator tray. Most dehydrators also, or sometimes come with food, um, like a fruit roll kind of tray. I didn't choose to buy them. They're kind of pricey for this model. So I'm just going to pour right in the middle and allow it to spread out into a circle. Um, the thickness really doesn't matter. It can be anywhere from about an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch thick. So this is pretty thick since I didn't add any water. I could have if my blender was having trouble. You can just add a little bit of water at a time or jam the berries in just enough to get it all pureed. So I can kind of spread it out. That will, save, that will save some energy there. And that's it. That is absolutely it. Um, I'll put it in my dehydrator and I'll turn the dehydrator on to about 135 for anywhere from 6 to 12 hours. And you will know that it's finished when it stops being sticky. So here's some from last year. They do last the whole year. This is strawberries from last year. Um, you can see that it's pliable. And what I notice um, when I'm trying to figure out if it's done is I just peel it up off of the parchment paper. And in the middle, if anything is sticky or gooey um, or sticking to my fingers, if any strawberry comes off, then that's not, it's not fully finished. Paul's going to show you a close-up of the strawberry, and you can see there's kind of some cracks. That's just where it spreads, you know, it's kind of um, getting rid of its moisture and, and cracking up. And then we also have some applesauce rolls here. This one's made with raw apples. I made it the exact same way, um, although the food processor works a little better for apples, and I just add a bunch of cinnamon. Hold it right up, Paul, up a little higher. There you go. Don't move it. Thank you. So we, do, so we do apple rolls with cinnamon, we do strawberry rolls. I've heard a lot of people do like a peach raspberry blend that I'm sure would be very good. Um, if you are unsure if your family can you know, handle this, this fruit roll without any sweetener at all, what I would do is just taste it. Put some in your mouth, if it tastes good, go with it because the flavors are going to be concentrated a little bit as it dehydrates so it will only get you know, slightly sweeter and more delicious. Um, these are really, really good. If you do add a little sweetener, add it right into the blender for the puree, maybe a little bit of sugar, maybe a little bit of raw honey. Um, but otherwise, when you are finished, two other tests to make sure that you've dehydrated this fully, because if you don't, it will mold and then you lose it and then it stinks, um, is to tear it. Paul's going to show you a nice close-up on the tear. Um, if you tear and you look inside and you can kind of like squeeze it, if you squeeze it and you don't see any droplets of moisture come out, that's a really good thing. 
Also, um, if you get them, come on back, Paul. If you get them into a plastic bag, leave it on the counter for the first 24 hours and just pay attention. If you see any condensation or moisture inside that bag, get all your rolls back into the dehydrator and give them a couple more hours. Um, you can also do this procedure in an oven to set as low as it can go, somewhere usually between 150, even up to 200. Um, and just use parchment paper. I don't use wax paper because that won't come off. You can use parchment paper or like a silicone baking mat and a cookie sheet and just do it right in the oven. You have to check it a lot and sometimes you have to flip it over in the oven. Um, that usually takes between three and six hours at about 200 degrees. But it's, again, it's totally possible. So if you're really committed to making some fruit leather, you know, fill both trays, put them in, and just switch them up and down in an oven. There are more directions for how to make this um, at kitchenstewardship.com, as well as in my snacks ebook, Healthy Snacks to Go. And as for Paul and I, we're going to have a little bit of fruit bowl. Go ahead. Paul's going to turn it off for me. And then we'll eat the last of last year's Michigan strawberry fruit rolls. Thanks again. Bye-bye. So